you join us at a river beach just off the N230 road. And this road is one that was suggested by one of our viewers as being a good one to ride. So we thought we'd give it a go and stop at a few places along the way. With our starting point being Tortoisendo and our end point being a Pont das Tres Entradas Secret Garden, where we plan to have lunch. This place is called Praia da Mosca. Should we take a look around? Let's do it. It's very nice already. Yeah, it's quite pretty, isn't it? Although you have got the road right next to it. It's really busy though. Yeah, it's not too busy, but still not quite as tranquil as some of the other places we've been to. No. See, there's more traffic now. I think there's some people just down there, so maybe we'll head over to this bit and see what it looks like. Oh, there's a little swing there. Oh. I want to see whether this has got like a waterfall thing up here. It's quite nice, isn't it? Shall we continue? Go and have a look at the waterfall. Yeah, is it a waterfall, is it? it sounds like it. Yeah. It's kind of like a natural infinity pool. It's very shallow here, isn't it? I was about to say, ankle deep infinity pool. Yeah. You see any fish? Yeah, I did back there. Did you? Let's have a look. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Nice. Little ones. Oh, there's lots of little ones in here. There's one around there somewhere. There's loads of little ones down here. Nice to pull up on the bike and not feel like wanting to take every single bit of clothing off, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know if we can get to it, you know. Oh wow! A little sluice there. I want to get over there. Yeah. No, I'm not going to jump. No. How do we get to it? You might be able to see it through the trees. Is there no bridge? No. Only there and it's covered in a motor. Oh, is it? Should we try there again? Might be able to get further down. Should we see if we can get through? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can get through here. Yeah. Johnny and Sam. Finding the hidden gems. get a better view of that waterfall. I think Johnny's already on it. I feel like we're in the jungle. After enjoying the beauty of this waterfall, we hopped on the bikes to get back on the N230 road, with our next destination being Praia Fluvial de Alvoco das Barzias. Short 
shortly after we got back on the road, we entered the village of Yunas de Serra, which is 30 kilometers squared and has just over a thousand inhabitants. It's at an altitude of 650 meters and located at the base of the southwest slope of the Serra da Estrela, in a valley of glacial origin, where the Yunas stream flows. We think there's a damned river beach here, but we decided not to visit because typically the best season to go to a river beach, especially a damned one, is from June to August, as it's possible they open the dam from September. Whoa, travel, watch out. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Twitchy. As we left Yunas de Sella, the N230 road looked pretty good. And it was. Twenty minutes later. After a fantastic ride so far on the N230, we entered the village of Ribeira, and following that, we passed a petrol station that we've commented on the prices of before. And this time we were passing, fuel is almost two euros per litre, which is pretty expensive. Next, we entered the village of Barriosa, where we've also been before, and if you turn down that road on the right, it takes you to Guadarrios restaurant and the Waterfall River Beach there. We'll definitely be going back to Guadarrios in the near future, but today we wanted to explore the N230 further. At a logo Guadarrios Amigos. Then we entered the village of Veed. Again, if you turn right, you'll reach another waterfall, which if you don't mind a worse road surface and a bit of a walk, is worth a visit. That route is maybe not ideal for bikers looking for a good ride though, but this N230 has to be the best road we've ridden so far in Portugal.
1 minute 37 seconds later. We reached the village of Alvoco das Barzias, where the next river beach is located. So we turned off the N230. For now. Later. Once I'd finally made it down the cobbly hill, we made our way towards the river beach. Let's go and have a look at this place then. The bridge is so cool. Yeah, the bridge isn't nice. Oh, there's horses over there. Oh, there's a foal as well. What's that? A foal? Oh, a horse. Is that a carrot powered motorbike? A what? A carrot powered motorbike. A carrot powered motorbike. <laughs> you could call it that, yeah. One horse power. How silky the water looks. I think I prefer the other place though. It's not really a river beach, is it? It's quite shallow. Well, it's a little bit deeper there. It's a paddling place, isn't it? Paddling, it's a yeah. The other place was shallow as well. Maybe in the next couple of months it will rise up a little bit higher. We should just bring carrots with us every time we go on the bikes. This is the second time we've seen four-legged friends when we've gone to places like this. Guadarrios has got the mules, isn't it? We're carrying carrots around with us on our bikes. <laughs> it's a bit random. <laughs> little pony. Look at the little foals. They're quite far away. You can't see them very well. Hello, pony. I'm going to call him Trevor. Trevor? Like Trev. Oh, it is a boy. What's happening, Trev? Oh, Hello. Mate. Oh. See? He's carry carrots. Trev, you want a carrot? Yeah, he stamped his foot, see? He's got a hair like someone from an emo band. Oh, he does as well. He's getting attacked by flies. Pretty little pony. Just want to plait his hair. Time for a drink, is it? Oh, they're pretty. I've grown out of them. Polished granite it's benches. Nice, isn't it? Polished granite bench. Yeah. I haven't done the socks, but I wouldn't mind that. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be really nice. We've got that marble table in the house, so we need to move. But I'm a little bit too feeble to <laughs> carry it. But yeah, what a pretty place. Be lovely for a picnic. Lovely. Little area for kiddies as well. Not very deep for a swim, but again, if you've got the kiddies, it's a good little paddling area for them. Deep enough for someone small. Yeah. We found ourselves a bench with the river next to us and had a little snack before heading on to our next stop for lunch. Uh, 
apparently according to my bike it's 31 degrees but don't believe that that's not true uh. right on to the next stop we are heading to a pont das tres entradas secret garden because the food looks quite nice online so we're pretty peckish as it's half past three this road surface isn't as good as the n230 we just came in on is it <laughs> no but you want to go wide here because we're doing this right okay and then you need to commit i had a guy coming out of his driveway on this hill i had to stop and wait where are you here Whew. i don't like tight corners We could have stopped at Guadarrios, but we wanted to try out somewhere new, didn't we? We did. And we also wanted to go the full length of the N230. Because I think we can safely say this is actually the best road that we've found in Portugal so far. Shit in the middle of it. Oh, except for this gravel in the road. <laughs> <laughs> been a couple of times of gravel and where people have been shrimming and stuff isn't there oh we have had a hell of a lot of rain we have that doesn't surprise me that shit's been washed on the road more shit's down the outside but that rain means that our lake level has now really filled up again and the water seems to be flowing in the nearby rivers and it's nice to see the level of the lake back to its former glory Ponta das Tres Entradas Thanks mate, we're going to pull over in front of you in a minute and there's a restaurant just here. Pia Dow. I've actually been recommended to go there as well. And the place that you mentioned. Yeah. Is this thing here on the left? Should we just park here? Yeah. to Secret Garden. Bar, chill zone. Hola. Hello English. Yes. Are you doing lunch? Yeah. Maybe? We don't have all the menu, but yeah. Okay, perfect, yeah. yeah. Couple, Sounds good. Of burgers, or pizza or something. Yeah, pizza we have, maybe I have a burger, I have schnitzel, chicken breast, I have shawarma that is really good. We have antipasti. We have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get inside, outside? Uh, outside. outside. I'm gonna yeah. give you the, the menu. You want to drink something? See? Si. Um Sylvia. Which one? Uh, media, super. Super? Yes. Yeah, si. Uh no, what do you want? Uh iced tea to mango. Iced tea? Um sorry. I'm speaking English. Uh, mango iced tea. Mango. Yes. Sir. I don't have iced tea. I have a mango. Uh, I show you. Come. Okay. This is nice, isn't it? Very nice place. Thank you so much. You own it? Yeah. It's amazing. It's a campsite as well, yeah. Campsite. Yeah. Amazing. You want a glass? Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Pizzas. I think I'm gonna get pizza, yeah. I can yeah. tell you what I have. I have a really good uh, shawarma. I know, the okay. I know the name, what is shawarma? Shawarma, it's... Uh, Indian, isn't it? No, it's from the Middle East. It's like really good beef. 
Okay. okay. Uh, it can be with, uh, you know what, it's lafa in tortilla. Okay. This is one option, or it can be with the rice. Okay. I'm not sure that I have the rice, you can wait. I'll have it in the tortilla, that sounds ideal. The shawarma. Shawarma? Yeah, the shawarma and the tortilla. With tortilla? Yeah, see. Obrigado. And, and for you, pizza, schnitzel, antipasti, chicken breast. I think I'm going to go for a pizza. Pizza. Yeah, I might just go for a four cheese. Yeah, four cheese. Yeah, yeah. Four cheese? I'll go for a four cheese pizza, yeah. Perfect. Enjoy it. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Like they're doing some building works over there at the moment so it's not quite as picturesque as it probably could be but still very gorgeous place look at the water reflection on this tree so pretty can you see the little fish in there <laughs> Some little fish just there as well. Loads of them. The pita is gonna be like two minutes. No worries, thank you. You're welcome. How is the shawarma? Lisa bomb, very, very good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, so my room, yes. what do you got? Yeah. Enjoy. How's your coffee? KTM. KTM? There's two bikes. There's a KTM and a Yamaha. Oh, they're beautiful. It's been a long, long time from the last time that I'm right. Yeah. I have a ninja. And you have no bike here? No. Yeah. I need to buy something. The road here is unbelievable. Oh, the roads! The roads are, are amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The view is amazing. The road is amazing. Yeah. That's why we ride motor. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> this is amazing. This is good too. There's a bit of meat there. Can you try it? I couldn't eat much. Did you know what? No way, that's coming. Yeah, really man. Good. Really, really nice. I'll come back here just for the road. Yeah, and that road. So if you're a biker or driver that enjoys a good mountain road, then the trip from Tortosendo to a Pont Tres Entrada's secret garden on the N230 comes highly recommended by us. Especially when you consider when we reached our lunch spot, our meal cost less than 20 euros, was really tasty, in a great setting, with some good vibes music, and the bill came in this retro looking box. We'll definitely be doing this trip again. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. 
Also, why not click on one of the video windows to see more? Thanks for watching.